Hi, this is Russell Sunnell from teachertrainingvideos.com. Super simple technology for you today, all about collaboration, basically getting students to write and share ideas like in a forum or a discussion or brainstorming. But there's one really nice feature. This system allows you to control who can edit what. So you can only edit your own contributions. You can't edit the contributions that other students make. Often when we use things like perhaps Google uh, Docs, the problem with Google Docs is it's more difficult to control uh, the problem that students might edit or change what other people have written. So this has kind of got an added security level that's quite useful. Really hope you like the video. And as always, if you do, please like it. Please share it, please comment on it, and of course, follow me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started with the video. If you haven't got a Wakelet account, then simply click on sign up, it's free. You've got various ways of joining, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so we're on wakelet.com. It's a completely free tool. I'm gonna to click on new collection. So I click on this button here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is add a cover picture. So we'll upload a picture from, actually let's upload a picture from their library. And I'm gonna choose the word collaboration since that's what we're looking at. And we've got a nice picture there. I think I'll use that one. I'm gonna click on that and simply add that picture in. And then I'll put a title, which I'm gonna call collaboration. And, and then I'm going to add a quick description. So I've now added my title and my description. So I'm gonna start by adding an idea and then I'm gonna share the link so that other students can add their ideas. So I'm gonna click here and I just simply click on this button here and I can write in my text. So I've added in my text, I'm gonna click on done. Now, really important is to click on this button here afterwards done. And I just wanna explain now how after you've created, you would get other students to collaborate or how other students would uh, use this tool. They need to click on the invite button and they just simply copy that link and share that link uh, with the other students that they want to collaborate with them. However, there is another way and that is if we click on uh, username and email, we can actually send emails and uh, that way you can actually add people um, via an email and again, it will send them the link. Now there's only one really important setting to remember when you invite people to collaborate. So the important setting is make sure that you've clicked on edit so that you're in this kind of window where it says done here. Come up here onto the left hand side, click on the settings and this is crucial. You want to make con contributors editing items, all contributors to edit and delete all items in the collection. No, you don't want that on. Now the reason you don't want that on is it means that if a student makes a contribution, they can edit their own contribution, but they can't edit other contributions from other people. And that's really important because a lot of teachers don't like it when students can kind of edit what another student has added so that stops that happening so with that in mind now clicking back on done once that's done click on the invite button copy the link and now let's jump in as if we were another student and see how it would work when the student receives the link okay so we're back in now as if we were another student we're going to share that link. So that's what the student would do, would click on that link. We're gonna put in the student's name. I'm gonna write Fred, I'm gonna click on add. Now that student can also add to the Wakelet. The only thing the student needs to do is to click on edit. Once you've clicked on edit, then it will open up and offer you the opportunity to add your own ideas. Again, you click here and click on add text because that's the one that you wanna do. Now you can write something as well. So I've added in my comment, I click on done. Now the point I was trying to make to you earlier is that I can see the contribution from another student here and if I click on that, I can't edit that. Yes, I can edit my own contribution, but I can't edit uh, any contributions made by other students and that's really important. 
So let's imagine we're a different student. I'm going to call myself Mary. Mary is now logging in. And I just want to point out a couple of other things in terms of the collaboration. We're focusing predominantly here on adding text. Again, Mary's going to need to click on edit and then she can add, add her ideas and she can notice that she can add them anywhere uh, on the screen. I'm going to click here just to point out to you, it is possible when you add an idea, click on add text, that you can also share a link perhaps to a YouTube video, perhaps to a website, etc. So let's just do a quick example of that. And I'm gonna put here, this is a good video. So let's imagine that we wanna share this uh, video about group assignments. You can just copy the link, come back to the Wakelet. And now all we need to do is add that link. So to add that link, just click here and paste the link in to the YouTube video, click on add link and that link will be added in. Best thing is to make a gap there and click on done. Now let's go back to the person that first created the Wakelet and see what's happened now as these different students have been collaborating and adding their ideas. So we're now back on the Wakelet and we can see that there are different contributions from Mary, obviously from myself and from Fred, I can see those. Now there's a couple of interesting things that you can do. If you click on the edit button, you do actually have other ways of organizing the layout of these ideas. And if you click here, for example, we can do grid view, and that is like sort of boxes, uh, very similar to kind of sometimes the way that Padlet looks. Or we could, for example, do this mood board where all the ideas are displayed across the screen. It's even possible if you want to click here and to reorder the way that the information is displayed. If you click on that button there, you can, for example, move objects uh, in a different order if you wanted to. Super simple way of collaborating, getting students to work together. Now, when it's time to share the collaborations, just click up here. The best thing to do is to set it as unlisted and simply to share the link. So click on done and all you need to do then is to click here on share this collection and you've got a link. Uh, you can even, as you can see, get an embed code or even export as a PDF, but I will most cases simply would share that, copy that link and then share it with the people that you want uh, to see the uh, collaboration and all of the discussion points that the students have made. Hope that video was useful. Please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, loads more free videos and I often highlight some of the most popular videos on the front page. If you want to keep up with my work, the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter. That way you'll get updated with all the latest videos, the blog posts I write, the webinars and the um, online courses. Of course, you can sign up to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click on the bell to get all the updates. And finally, if you were looking for me to do some training with your organization or with you as an individual, then please contact me on my website. And thank you very much.